While we're surveilling General Angela, we see that on Fridays, he would go to the Casas Torta restaurant. It was a Italian restaurant in Brooklyn, and it turned out to be a meeting place for the hierarchy of the Colombo family. My supervisor says to me, John, I have an assignment for you. You're going to be charged with being a bug in the Casa Storta restaurant. The idea was to scope it out and figure out where to put this bug. I try to be interested in the food, the table, and my date. But what I really am looking around for is where they're seated. General Angelo and the mob guys uh, in the banquet room where they're playing cards. I try to act as normal as possible, and typically when you're in a restaurant, you've got to get up and go to the bathroom. The place is just swarming with mob guys. I didn't look them in the eye. I didn't identify who was there, what they were doing. I just wanted to see where they were sitting. At that point now, you've got to lay out the place. You have a real good idea of where they're spending their time and where to place the bug. In Casa Storta, we had some you know, challenges. We had a dog to deal with. Her name was Nina. She was about 150 pounds. She was an Italian bull mastiff. And when you were having dinner, Nina was walking around the restaurant like the fact that Nina was joining you for dinner, go eat someplace else. You have to think like a criminal. And I saw that there was no alarm related issue to deal with. There was no back or side door that I could, you know, put a jar. There was nothing other than we had to go in through the front door. First, we get the lock guys to work on the locks. Nina is throwing herself up against the door, and she is a big dog. We're ready to do the entry. Instead of me being the first one in, Arthur with his injectable is going to go in. But he's having anxiety over how old Nina is. He's not sure he should poke her, because none of us wants to harm any animal. But once the door opens, Nina backs up a little bit. He sticks his leg in the door to sort of shoo her. She grabs his boot backs up, closing his leg in the door, and he is stuck. We have to protect ourselves. The worst case, you'd have to shoot a dog. Backup plan, Kenny, he comes to the rescue with the CO2 fire extinguisher. Nina lets go, backs up, walks into the coat room, and goes in for bed. Just like that. We get the job done. Installing a microphone above the table. 